You can literally slide in the Lord's DMs. Okay, maybe, maybe that was a little too far. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Tiffany. I make videos about spiritual growth for artists and I know exactly what you want. You want that accountability, check. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for new videos and the rest of this series. In videos one through three, we talked about the multifaceted approach to protecting our spirit and all that, that comes with. I'll put a link in the description box below and up above my head in the information card for the first three videos. Today, we are talking about intentional conversation. And this conversation has the power to change our perspectives and our focus in times of trouble. Which brings us to tool number four, a conversation that has the power to change our perspective. And that is known as prayer. Now, if you're anything like me, praying is sometimes an afterthought. You think, you know what? I'll talk to God when I really need something. What if we didn't treat prayer like an emergency line, but more like a lifeline? Huh? Huh? The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, so let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. That scripture is telling us that because Jesus, God, understands all of our weaknesses, our trials, our issues, we can approach him directly from right where we are to receive mercy, grace, and help whenever we need it. Let that encourage you. God is saying that in your believing in him as your protector, your Lord, your savior, he offers a direct lifeline to himself and to his grace. You can literally slide in the Lord's DMs. Okay, maybe, maybe that was a little too far. My point is by having a spiritual conversation, by praying to the God of the Bible, to Jesus the Son, to the Holy Spirit, all in one, you get the protection for your mind in the midst of darkness. Now, what's the catch? The catch is that your prayer life, the times that you get before God and ask him to protect, to sustain, or to intervene for you, he could very well say nothing. And nothing really changes, which honestly makes you think, am I praying to no one? You may pray and it seems like nothing happens, but spiritual conversation with God has the power to change your mind, to change how you see the issue that you're currently sitting with. I'll give you a great example. My mom was having something go on with her body and it seemed unexplainable. Doctors were giving no real answers and she wasn't in pain, but it was like super frustrating for her. So in prayer, I asked God to move in her body, heal her if he saw fit or some type of answer for the doctors. The issue didn't go away. In fact, it wasn't resolved at all, but my mother reported to me that she knew we were praying and though it was comforting, she said that what she most felt was protected, that God was moving even though nothing on the surface had changed. Spiritual conversation may not change the actual situation, but what it does is it taps into a space where God can speak clearly, directly, and intentionally to your mind and to your heart, allowing you to have the fortitude to withstand whatever you're going through. So how does this tool work to protect your spirit? In allowing a back and forth with God regularly, not an emergency text or a phone call every once in a while, but consistent communication, your prayers start to evolve into specific, personal, community-centered dialogues. You stop the monologue of woe is me and I want, I need, and you start to hear God speaking through you. We are vessels and he is filling us with his thoughts, his mind, and his desires. Not because we don't have a choice in the matter, but because he cares for people the best. He understands the needs of people the best. He understands your needs and what your spirit needs to thrive and be watered. So let him water your soul. Let him cover you completely with his grace. Also, if you wanna see the rest of the testimony of my mother's healing, you can actually check out the short film entitled The Journal right on my page, and I'll link it at the end of this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe with the notification bell so you can see the next video in this series. Question of the day, when was the last time you prayed and what did you pray for? I would love to know down in the comments so I can go ahead and pray with you. And click here if you wanna watch the previous video or click here if you wanna watch something else awesome on my channel. 
I love y'all and I'm thanking you for being with me. Let's grow together. I'll see you in the next one.